Sweet. This is my friend, what is your name again? Beckett. This is Beckett. Well, welcome anyway here to Faraday Studios. I'm Jake Wizard 4. And this is one of my favorite wits, and he's growing in not only stature, his skill level is really increasing. You know, we teach science process skills here, how to think like a scientist, and you're getting there, aren't you? Mm -hmm. So I thought we'd ratchet it up a notch. This is kind of a level two now of learning to sharpen your science process skills with just some old science activities, and these are very old. Oh, I don't know, 150 years? Faraday, Wizard One, did a couple of these. So you're gonna have to grab your beard, let's practice. Grab your beard and go, hmm. Hmm. That's right, hmm. So we're setting, by the way, you know, this is a lab station and we're not supposed to be setting down. You got yourself protected, oh, right? Yeah. You got the big old heavy thing. Okay, so it's protect Because you're in the chemistry lab, you're not supposed to sit down because you could spill anything. So we're letting you get away with it today, right? But you got the eye protection going? Eye protection. Eye protection. That's a special kind of fire. Do you see what? Do you see the shape of it? It's like a pokey thingy. A pokey. See, this is called a triangular file, four-sided file, but it's got a sharp corner. We use that to cut glass. So what else is down here? Sheet of glass. A little sheet of glass. Glass tubes. Some glass tubes. A burner. Some people call it a Fisher burner. Fisher's sure. a brand, but we won't calculate how many, but this is a lot hotter than a bun regular Bunsen burner. You see all the small holes here? Mm -hmm. Instead of just one flame from a Bunsen burner would have, this creates a multitude of very small flames, hot spots. And what else do I have? A dropper. It's also called a pipette. A pipette. Say pipette. Pipette. Got some glass of water. Yeah, it looks like water, you sure? No, it's it's clear liquid. There you go, but it's water. It's but water. you're right, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. And mystery objects. You got some mystery on. Oh yeah, these things right here? Mm -hmm. What is that thing? I'll give you a hint, it's about 150 years old. Does it light the burner? Hey buddy, he's getting there. Pull that thing and see if you can get a spark. Oh, did you see it? Oh, yeah. Back in the day, they didn't have, uh, matches were expensive and clumsy, and so they had, all around the house, people had gas lights, right? They'd use these strikers here that would they'd make sparks. So they wanted to light the, the gas on the wall or the gas. You know? So we'll try that. Oh, I hear the gas again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, a little harder, yeah, yeah. A little more aggressive with that thing. I'll give you a little more gas. <whistles> Modern version, there. See all those little points in there? Mm -hmm. Each one of those is a hot spot. Let me really shut hot. that thing off. Okay, we'll light it up again. What do you think we're gonna use that screen for? Well, actually, this is a good conductor of heat, this wire. Mm -hmm. So if I have a hot piece of glass, where do I lay it? I don't lay it in my lap. I don't wanna lay it in the table and burn a hole. I lay it on here, because this okay. spreads the heat out. Yeah. But it also, when glass blowers, let's see if I've got a piece of broken glass here or something like that. Ooh, look, see how jagged that is? Oh, that is jagged. That's jagged, yeah, that's jagged. How do you get rid of that jagged edge? Oh, you use the, the screen as a file. It's kind of like pedicure or something like that. You know, they'll use a file to file down the nails, you know? So we learned a little thing. What are you doing over there, wizard? Well, I'm giving a manicure to my glass rods here. Okay, so much for that. That's why that's there. What's this got to do with anything? There's something going on here with all this stuff. So the first thing, first clue, I guess, I'm gonna have you take this water, pick up some of it and drip it in back in the little beaker there. Okay. Yeah, the, oh, this is just so much fun, I can barely stand it. What do you notice? Notice anything? The drops are all about the same size. Oh, dear, the drops are all about the same size. Do you notice that? That's pretty good, buddy. How does it know to make the same size drop? I don't know. Well, at least you're honest. Now, why don't you put some drops on that glass plate and kind of move it around there, oh, there. and just tell me what you see when you do that. They stay in the same spot. They don't really move around when you drop yeah. them. Yeah, okay, there's that. What else you seeing? About the same size still when you drop them on the glass. Yeah, they're still the same size thing going, right? Do you notice anything occurring when, you, when it hits? It kind of spreads out and then comes back in. Let's see if we can do it something similar with uh, some glass. Let's try if we can get this old sparker to work. Do we need some new flint? Okay, we'll cheat. There we go. So we're gonna try to make a, a drop of, of glass. We're gonna try to blow it. So I'm gonna have you take a piece of glass tubing and I wanna make sure that there's no sharp edges. Okay. Goggles are on. Now we hit this in here. I don't wanna stick it right into the hot spot of the flame because I don't know what it is about, how many degrees it is in here, 70, 75 degrees or something and then go into 1900 degrees would be a little thermal shock and it might shatter. So I'm gonna start up here and just warm the glass. And you notice, notice what I'm doing to the glass as I do it? Rotating it. You gotta keep it in. Cause I wanna heat it all the way around, right? 
And boy, so that heats up pretty fast. You see that yellow right there? Mm -hmm. That means the glass is heating. And boy, it heats fast. And I'm just gonna heat that glass up and let it melt down and make a nice blob. And I think the end of it is sealed shut now. Mm -hmm. It's kind of collapsed. You see a glob on there? Yep. What I want to try to do, and I don't know, I'm not any good at this anymore. I, I took glass blowing at the university years ago. Can you believe that? But that was, I don't know, 60 years ago. So I don't remember a whole lot about it. But we used to do this for fun. I'm going to put this in my mouth now. Wow. Sweet! <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool? Mm-hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. That's sweet. Look what I made. A little glass booger. That's pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Look at that, look what I made. Okay. I think it's hot now because the yellow flame is it tell it's hot. So once you get down to really hot part of the flame, yeah, it's it's getting shut. So but slow your turning just a little bit. You can still turn it, but it's, it's not a little slower. There you go. Just keep now. Just turn it slow. I think it's time to blow that thing. Let's find out. Just leave it in there. I get it up to your mouth and now pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Now blow. Blow that thing. Blow. Come on. Blow. 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 Come on. You can do it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, pull it out of the fire. Pull it out of the fire. Oh yeah. Keep on going. Oh yeah. Look at that. Sweet. It's a little booger. A little booger. It's a jelly bean. A jelly bean. A glass jelly bean. Right. I look at this and I look at that, that drop of water. Does anything come to mind? You look at this, look at the drops of water. And this is the whole purpose of Midnight Science Club. We did all this messing around to get to this point right here. What's their shape? Curved. Curved, yeah, kind of, like they were trying to make a circle, right? You can kind of tell. And they were trying to make a, a circle down there, yeah. What would they have in common? What am I trying to see here? What were you pushing against? What were you blowing against? The bonds of the atoms. Oh. See, when people didn't know there were atoms and bonds, but they said, I could feel something pulling these back together. And right there, you could see something pulling those drops back together. And actually, this is a demonstration of both of these. There's not a chemical reaction taking place here. We didn't change the chemistry of this, didn't we? No. But there is an attraction between molecules. They call them van der Waals forces. Say van der Waals. Van der Waals. Yeah, there's a... There's a force between some molecules. It's like hanging around, kind of like you and your girlfriend. Yeah, hey, yeah, sit, sit there and we, we're, hey, yeah, I'll just sit here like this. You know that one girl you were telling me out of school? No. Oh, dear, I'm lying, but I make stuff up. But just imagine there was a girl that liked you, right? And you had your arm, you just touched her on the elbow there, like, and you go, hey, that's pretty good. I could just sit here like this all day. And we're, we're attracted. We don't share electrons and make a chemical reaction, but we were attracted. And this demonstrates something was pulling those molecules back together there was some something some force there's some force that holds those in that drop shape i sure can't see them pulling together can i but i can see the effect some great truth of science you can see indirectly and then we can just mess around nice thing about this oh here you want to see something fun what do you think this is like really fragile let's see ready three two one is it hot no oh Look, I can just melt this. I'm going to make another one, see if I can make it here. I will heat it up, see if we can make another one. Just, oh, shatter. So what great scientific concept did you experience just for a second right here with this silly stuff we have here? Van der Waal. Van der Waal's forces, yeah. Molecules are attracted to each other. Mm -hmm. And even though they don't chemically react, sometimes they just kind of like to hang out together. And sometimes that Van der Waal's force is pretty strong. And then it's fun just to mess around with burner. Fire good. Oh, fire good, man. Never got room. Oh, I blew it out. Popped it. Blew it out. Blew it too a little fast there. Made a little... Nubbin. A little nubbin. Yeah, a little nubbin. Here you try it. Well, thank you for joining us, Midnight Science Club. We were indirectly feeling a force of nature, the Van der Waals force. We're just messing around. That's what we do here. We mess around. We're messing around. Did you learn anything? I learned about Van der Waals. Well, there's a, there's a thing called Van der Waals, and you can actually feel it. Mm-hmm. And you can see the effect of it. Yep. And that's all. That's all we did. Well, that's enough in it for a day. Oh, yeah. Then we can just sit here and burn stuff. Burn stuff. Yeah, now we go into the burn stuff mode. 
And if people want to see more of this nonsense, they can find us on TikTok, TikTok, Patreon, Patreon, Instagram, Instagram, Facebook, Facebook, and YouTube. And YouTube. Yeah, there he goes. Were you sealed shut? No, you I weren't even sealed. Shut. Give me a break. Get on out. Come back and join us again. You're always welcome here. And what's the motto? Uh, live long and prosper. Live long and prosper. Or always rest and never convicted. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that's what it is.